Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the uh, famous boating accident where everybody lost their guns um, and why it's it's so lame. Okay, so basically, you know, every time politicians start talking about you know banning guns or restricting magazines or any of this stuff, you know, everybody's always like, well, they can't affect me because I lost all my guns in the boating accident. Okay, now the reason why that's lame, okay, uh, is because they don't care that you're hiding your guns, okay? Um, what, you know, as long as you're hiding your guns and they are basically, or, or you've buried them underground, um, as long as they're out of sight, okay, you're not a threat uh, to their way of life, okay? What they're really trying to do is they're trying to kill the gun culture, our gun culture, okay? They're trying to keep us from recruiting the next generation, um, and growing our, our ranks, okay? So if, if if they pass laws that are gonna cause you to go and hide your guns, okay, that serves their purposes just as well, okay? Because you're not out there shooting, you're not on the range shooting, and if you're not on the range shooting, basically shooting ranges, basically they lose money. Uh, eventually shooting ranges will go out of business, okay? Uh, and you won't have any place to go shoot your guns anyway. And you, you you know, if they ban your guns, you can't take them to the range anyhow, okay? Um, so, so by banning guns, okay, by put, giving them the same status as, as, as drugs, basically, um, you know, it serves their purposes because what's going to happen is that, you know, you know your kids are going to grow up. Yeah, maybe you'll teach your kids about guns. Maybe you'll, you know, even find some private property where they can shoot at, okay? But it's not something that you're likely going to be able to do often. Um, and, and what's going to happen is think about what's going to happen, you know, 30, 40, 50 years down the line or after basically you're dead. OK, um, you know, what is your wife's perspective on this? OK, uh, is she going to have the same gun hole attitude that you have? Is she going to go out of the way to, you know, to make sure you, your kids get gun training? Uh, well, and how about your kids to their grandkids and, and so forth? OK. Um, so what's going to happen is that, you know, by the time we get to the third generation, okay, those guns that you've been hiding, um, if they haven't rusted apart or if the springs haven't broken, you know, if the guns haven't, you know, basically broken down by that point, because remember, once they ban all these guns, you're not going to be able to get replacement parts, uh, and all machines break, whether you're using them or not using them, they break eventually, okay, the, the you know, just by sitting there, um, springs go bad uh, and, and and basically if you look at gu you know there's guns that have been in museums uh, for, for for you know over a century um, and when when you do go to use them basically they break because you know the, the, the springs have been haven't been moving in a long time um, so, so so that that's how that goes and the same thing goes you know even with a car if you if you have a car that you dra drive a lot you know, eventually that car is going to break down. If you have a car that just sits there, okay, you know, if it sits there for a couple of years without ever being turned on, well, well, the car goes bad too. Basically, the fuel, the the the, the, the fluids settle, uh, the oil thickens, um, and and basically the you know the, the 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 car starts breaking down just by sitting there. So guns are kind of the same way. Okay, whoever if you use them, they 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 stop breaking. If you don't use them, they stop breaking. Um, and in the long term, you need. A, a, a way to replace the parts and certainly replace the ammunition um, and you know I don't care how much ammunition you've been stockpiling if you tr are training the way that you're supposed to be training you're gonna eventually run out of ammunition um, and I don't care if you are a reloader eventually you'll run out of those supplies um, and what will happen is it'll become difficult enough and expensive enough so that you don't do it often enough and, and by you not doing it often enough um, basically the gun culture dies and that's their goal okay their goal their goal is not to take the guns that you are hiding okay their goal is to kill the gun culture okay so that's the reason why you can't just sit back and say you know I don't care what gun laws they passed it's not gonna affect me because you know they're never gonna come my guns they gotta come get my guns okay um, and and you know what they're probably not gonna come get your guns they're basically not gonna they, they're basically going to just forget about you. Now, what might happen and what's likely to happen is if, if you are hiding guns in your house um, and you have, um, you know, if you have any family disputes, divorces, that kind of stuff, 
what's going to happen is your family members are going to turn against you uh, and they'll use the fact that you have a safe full of guns against you okay um so basically that's how they'll get your guns uh at some point when you you know if you end up in court with some type of family dispute um you know your guns will come into question you know that your illegal guns will come into question at that point um and and, and you know what happens is in, in the long term a lot of people aren't going to risk losing their kids uh by having guns so um you know again basically those guns are going to go deeper and deeper uh into hiding or into the dirt um, and, 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 you know, they'll never see the light of day again. Uh, and, and, and the anti-gunners will have one. So, so, again, coming back to, you know, you can't, don't just stand up and say, you know, I lost my guns in a boating accident. They can't affect me. Because they can affect you, okay? It will affect you. Just by you not being able to buy replacement parts, ammunition, uh, have a place to go shoot, uh, be able to post videos of you shooting. Because remember, the videos that we post of us shooting, that's what draws in the next generation. Uh, and they, that's what they want to stop. They want to stop this. They don't want you posting videos showing how, how cool shooting is uh, and, and, and pulling in the next generation. If they can stop the next generation um, you know, of, 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 of gun lovers, okay, um, they're basically going to kill um, this part of our American heritage. I'll talk to you guys next time.